As you know, the topic for today's uh, webcast is the floating windows feature of AutoCAD and how it can be used to work effectively and efficiently in AutoCAD. It's uh, pretty much a new feature and was added in AutoCAD 2022. So in today's webcast, I'll be first opening multiple drawings in AutoCAD and go over some commands that can be used to manage those drawings. Then I will separate out a drawing as a floating window. Once we have the two windows open, I'll show you how to easily and quickly copy and paste objects between them, and then also how to match their properties. All this could be done previously as well, but the floating windows feature makes it much easier and faster to use those commands. Um, note that I'll start by explaining the topic and features uh, using the PowerPoint slides, as you can see on the screen. And, that, and then at the end, I will also demonstrate all the objectives in the AutoCAD 2023 software as well. So uh, finally, as I said before, we will have the Q&A session. Let's begin. Um, I think all of you must be aware that you can have multiple drawings open in the same session of AutoCAD software. Once you open multiple drawings, their file names are displayed as the file tabs, or they are also called the drawing tabs in the file tab bar that is located along the top of the drawing window. The file tabs are an easy way to switch between um, the open drawing files and the initial start window. By default, the start tab always displays as the first tab, and clicking it displays the initial start window. And this start tab is always persistent. It doesn't go away. The currently active drawing tab displays with a white background. The drawings display in the order in which they are open, but you can change their order by dragging and drop them, dropping them at a new location in the file stand bar. You can switch between the drawings by simply clicking on the required file name tab in the files tab bar. The selected drawing tab opens the drawing and also makes it the active drawing. You can also use control and tab keys uh, like you use for all the Windows um, softwares. So control and tab keys to cycle between the drawings. And uh, when there are too many open drawing files, so um, an overflow flow menu that displays. And um, so this overflow, uh, clicking on uh, the overflow menu icon, it uh, uh, displays a complete list of open files. And you can select the required file name to switch to that drawing file. So here you can see this is the overflow menu. And these are all the different drawing files that are open. And these are the drawing tabs. Now, you will also notice that some of the drawings have a star, like here in Big House 1A, it has a star up there. And um, what it says, it, it means that the specific drawing has been changed and the latest change has not been saved as yet. So right-clicking on a drawing file in the client tabs opens a menu which provides many options, such as to open a drawing and create a new drawing right here. And um, there are different saving options as well. And it also gives you various closing options, such as close, close all, and close all other drawings. So close all, what it does is it um, closes all of the drawings except the start tab. As I said before, start tab is always persistent in the files tab bar. And the close all other drawings option it closes all of the drawings except the drawing from which the shortcut menu has been opened. And obviously the start tab always remains there. Now let's talk about the floating window feature. When you have more than one drawing open, you will notice that only the currently active drawing it displays in the drawing window. To display two drawings on the screen such that you can work between them, the floating windows feature was introduced, as I said before, in AutoCAD 2022. So this feature, what it does is it increases the efficiency while creating a new drawing by copying portions and properties from an already existing drawing. Now to separate out a drawing as a floating window, simply click 
hold and drag one of the drawing tabs out of the files tab bar. You will notice both the drawings display on the screen simultaneously. As with any other Windows function, you can resize the windows, place them side by side, or let them overlap one on top of the other. If you have a second monitor, you can easily drag and float the drawing onto the screen and have two drawing files displayed on two separate screens side by side. If you want to keep the drawing in the overlapping mode and you just have a single screen, but you want to keep the drawings in the overlapping mode, you can obviously do that. But you have to be aware that the currently active drawing will be on the top. So if you want to keep the floating windows always on the top, for that, what you need to do is you have to pin it then. What it does is that it ignores the active drawing and allows the floating drawing to stay always on top of the main application window. The floating window has its own command line and dynamic input. Um, the ribbon, the quick access toolbar, and the status bar are available in the main application window. Um, and they are, they are available only from there but you can always use them in the floating drawing window as well. So um, the tools are associated with the drawing that is currently active. So if your floating window is active, all the tools that you choose in the ribbon or in the status bar will be effective on that drawing. So it depends on which drawing is the current drawing or where um, your cursor is. So to make the drawing cur current, what you do is you click inside it and the cursor becomes a part of that drawing. So that makes it the active drawing and there all the tools can be used in that drawing. Next one. Okay, once you are done working in the floating drawing, simply click and drag its title bar and drop it back into the files tab bar. This way it becomes part of that files tab bar and only one drawing is displayed on the screen then. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I will be demonstrating how to separate out a floating window and how to pull it back into the files tab bar later in the, in the AutoCAD 2023 software itself. Now, where do we use the floating windows feature? The floating windows feature really shines when you have to copy and paste objects between drawings as it, as it allows you to see both the drawings side by side and work between them. Let me give you a brief overview of how to go copy, move and paste objects between drawings. The AutoCAD copy, so you must be aware that there's an AutoCAD copy and move commands. And both these commands, they work when you have to copy items or move objects within the same drawing. Now, if you want to copy or move objects between different drawings, then you must use the Windows copy command, where the copied object is temporarily stored on a clipboard, and then you can paste it in another drawing. All the clipboard commands are conveniently located together in the home tab clipboard panel in the ribbon. As with other Windows applications, there is a cut clip command that removes the selected objects from the drawing file and then places them on the clipboard, which you can then paste in anywhere. The copy clip command copies the selected objects to the clipboard. This command collects all the objects together, placing them in a bounding box, and then uses the lower left corner of the bounding box of all the objects as the base point while pasting. Uh, so that base point can be used while pasting. Now, Control plus C also starts the same command. Then there is the copy with base point command. This enables you to select the base point after the objects have been selected. This option provides more control over the location of the objects when they are placed. The base point is only significant when the objects are pasted into the drawing. For pasting, you can use the paste tool that prompts you to select a location for the base point at which it then places the objects that are currently on the clipboard. You can also use the control V instead of clicking the paste tool in the ribbon. 
Now, another use of floating windows is when you have to copy the properties of objects in one drawing and then apply those properties to objects in another drawing. For that, we use the match properties command. The match properties enables you to select one object as a model and then copy its properties to another, any other object you select. The match properties uh, command, it works for general object properties such as color, line type, and line weight, and uh, for the formatting of some specific object types, that is including text, dimensions, hatching, and tables. Match properties is um, located in the home tab and properties panel. And it also works on copying the layer of one object to another object. If the layer of the copied object does not exist in the destination drawing, it will automatically create it in there. When you hover, hover over the object in the second drawing, the objects highlight, but they do not display a preview with the new properties. So they just highlight there. Now let's get into the software and I'll demonstrate all the objectives that I have shown till now. And so as you can see on the screen, this is AutoCAD 2023 and I have a drawing open already there. And uh, you can see this drawing has a star symbol right there, which means that I have changed the drawing. Maybe I have zoomed in or zoomed out and because of that, but I have not saved it after that. So that's what it means. Now let's open many drawings and see how many multiple drawings we can open. I'll just open, use the open command right here. And then I can choose from here to all the, down, all the way down here and say open. Let's see. So it's opening all the drawings together so we can have multiple drawings open. And once it crosses uh, the, the tabs bar at the top, once there, it starts, uh, there are many more drawings in addition, and it does not accommodate the tab in here. This overflow menu style came up. Now, from the if I click on the overflow menu, all my drawings are displayed there, and it also shows me um, like which one is the current drawing. So the last one is the current drawing, which has a check mark on the side. Now, if I want to select any other drawing, I can do that. And so let me go and choose the first drawing that had already opened. Now, um, another thing is that um, you, you always know there is a start tab and this takes you back into the start window, um, or which gives you the different options of opening, uh, uh, opening the file, creating new files, and you also have the help topics in there. Now let's get back to the, so by clicking on the drawings, you can just make them current and uh, go into that drawing. So, so initially to begin with, when we did not have the floating windows option, all we could do was if we had to copy from one drawing to another, so we had to keep on go switch, switching between the drawings. So it becomes a little cumbersome that way. And that's why floating drawing has been just um, and, uh, an awesome tool that they have introduced and it got introduced in 2022 last year. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the right click menu in one of the drawing files. And uh, you can see here, there is this addition A drawing and I have made a small change in there as well. And um, I might have changed it. And uh, there is the star sign showing that it has not been saved. So now, when I right click, I can close this particular drawing or I can close all the drawings along with the, uh, the current drawing, which is the big house 1A, that is the current drawing because it's highlight, highlighted uh, with white background. And then I have the close all other drawings. What it does is it will close the rest of the multiple, all the drawings, except this big house, which is the current drawing and the start uh, start window. So what uh, I just made, um, uh, like I have to use the, uh, the right click menu from the big house 1A drawing because if I don't want to close that one. So it does not close the 
drawing from where I have opened the right click menu and the start menu, obviously. So I'll say cl close all other drawings right here. And once I do that, before closing all the drawings, it will ask me, do I want to save this edition A? Because this is the unsaved drawing. Rest of the drawings are all fine. So I'll say no. And once I say no, all the drawings will be closed, except from where I open the right click menu and the start tab, which is always there. Now let's get into showing you the floating windows option. For that, I will open another drawing. So let me open a floor plan, this drawing right here and say open. Now what I want to do here in these two drawings, I want to, first let me just show you the text. Let me call the text first, yeah, okay. So what I want to do between these two drawings is that I want to create a copy certain objects from this drawing into the floor plan. So for example, I have this fireplace up here in the bedroom. I want to copy this fireplace into the bedroom of this um, the plan that I have made. So initially, as I said before, I would be going into this, clicking, uh, copying this, these objects, then clicking here and then pasting them here. So now what the floating window will do is I will just simply pull this floor plan drawing. I will drag it out and it creates a floating window. So this is a floating window and I can overlap it. I can definitely move it if I have a second screen. I can move it onto my second screen as well and um, have them on two, two big screens and then start working on both of them simultaneously. Now here, what happens is that if I want to, uh, if I click on uh, the drawing, which is the main application window drawing, which is this main application, then what happens, this will go underneath because the drawing where my cursor is active will remain on top. So let me do that and show you what I mean. So when I click inside Big House 1A, my other drawing is under this drawing. So let me get it by off plus tab. I'll get it back. And then, so now what I want to do is I don't want it to go under the Big House A drawing. So for that, I will just pin it on top. There is a, this pin symbol along with the drawing in the floating drawing window. I will click it and what it does is it now ignores, even if I go in here and click my cursor in there, it's not going to do anything. It's going to keep it on top. So if you're working in a single screen, then this is a way to go in, and you can see them overlapping simultaneously. And then you can also, you know, um, use the windows commands to um, resize the window or make it smaller, bigger, whatever you want. So now let's use the, let's uh, show the magic of those floating windows by copying this fireplace from, from this big house into the floor plan A. So the, all the clipboard commands, they are in the home tab and clipboard panel. So here, I'm, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use the copy with base point because I need the base point to know exactly where to put it in, in the where to copy it into the floor plan drawing. So for that purpose, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use copy with base point and it will ask me first to choose the base point. So I'll choose a corner up here and then I will select the objects. So for that, I will use the crossing window to select all the objects of this fireplace. Once done, press enter. And what it has done is it has copied all those objects, whichever I selected in the windows, um, the crossing window, it uh, has put it on temporarily on a clipboard. Now to paste them into this floor plan drawing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click into in this drawing to make it active and you will see notice that the cursor is right there. Now from here, I'm going to paste 
into this drawing. So for that, click on the paste a button in the ribbon. And as you can see, although the ribbon is with, with this um, drawing, uh, which is the main application window, I could use it because my cursor was active in the floor plan drawing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it right here using the base point. So there you go. So I see both the things have been done. Now, what I want to do is another, I have want to use the match properties command, and I want to match all the text that is written in this um, floor plan drawing to be looking similar to how it is in this big house drawing. I like this more and I want to make it consistent so that I can match the, so for that I can match the properties. Now I'll go in here, um, before I go, go and start matching the properties, I will show you that this, the text is on the layer, um, the color of the text is on layer R names. That is the layer name. So as I can, as I'm still active in here, I'll show you. We have a name a layer called our names right here. But what I want to do is, once I copy it into here, I don't think there is a layer names our, our names layer in this drawing. So before, so I clicked in here. I have I have made the floor plan a a drawing as the active, currently active drawing, and I will open its layers, different layers. So here you can see there is no R names layer there. So what it's going to do is once I use the match properties, it will create a new R names layer in the new drawing as well. So I just wanted to show you that. So go in here and click back in to make it the current drawing, and now, use the match properties command, which is in the home tab and properties panel. So I'll say click match properties. And what happens is that you can see I have the source object. I have to choose the source object. So I'll choose the, this as the source object. Once I choose this, what happens is it takes all the properties and that is shown by this brush and the pick box uh, cursor that it changes into means that all the properties have been co copied right now. Now I'll go in here in the floor plan drawing, first make it active by clicking inside it. And once I do that, the cursor changes into a brush and the pick box, which means that all the properties that I selected uh, from the primary bedroom, the properties of that text is all um, saved in the cursor right now. All I do is go and highlight the text. Once I highlight it, I click on it and it changes the properties. So you can see it, I'll change all the properties like so. Once I'm done, press enter to complete the command. Now, what I have to do is I can open the, because I'm still currently active in this drawing, which is the floor plan drawing, I'll open the layer manager. And you, here you can see that our names have been created. So it matched all the properties. You can also check by seeing the properties um, of those. Um, So select properties over to open the properties panel right here. And it shows you the layer is our names and the color is by layer. And then the line type and the line time scale and everything will match. The style will match whatever is uh, the properties of the, uh, the text in Big House One Name. If you go in there and make that current and choose primary and you will see it matches exactly. So we have matched the properties of two um, drawings, the text in two drawings. So let's finish this. I'll close the properties panel. And now 
Now this is as a separate window. This is a floating window. I want to put it back into the tabs bar. All I will do is click hold and drag it back in here. It highlights it and shows it in the blue background, showing that that is the place where I want to put it in. I can always definitely put it before Big House if you want to do that. Just move the cursor over there. And no, it, it's going to, no, that's not going to work. So it's going to, it's going to put it after the current drawing, after the drawings. And once I put it, you can definitely move it later. So move it in a different, you can always do that. But it doesn't do in the first place. I thought it was. So that's all about the, the map properties, the floating drawings, and the copy and paste commands. Let's get back into our PowerPoint presentation. And so let me recap the objectives for today. So um, the so what we did was we displayed multiple drawings as floating windows. And we also managed the multiple drawings through the file tab bar by using the right click menu where we close, use the close all, close, close all other drawings. Then we also copied and pasted objects between two open drawings. And then finally, we did match the properties of one drawing with another drawing. So with that, I'm going to hand you over back to Kareem. Thank you, Renu. Uh, 